Quincy, all right? He called me up, and I was out in the back in the studio, and I picked up the phone, and I... In one of rock history's most legendary, almost missed opportunities, Eddie Van Halen nearly dismissed the chance to play his iconic guitar solo on Michael Jackson's Beat It, assuming Quincy Jones's request was a prank. In a 2012 interview with CNN, Van Halen recounted his disbelief when he received a call from Jones, a prolific producer known for working with artists like Frank Sinatra and Aretha Franklin. Unconvinced it was really Jones, Van Halen answered the call with suspicion, yelling, what do you want, you? Jones explained who he was, but Van Halen was still unsure if the call was genuine. I still wasn't 100% sure it was him, Van Halen admitted. I said, I'll tell you what, I'll meet you at your studio tomorrow. And lo and behold, when I got there, there's Quincy, there's Michael Jackson, and there's engineers. Despite his doubts, Van Halen showed up at the studio where he was warmly welcomed by Jones and Jackson. The two megastars offered him creative freedom to contribute however he wanted to the song. With Jackson's and Jones's full support, Van Halen made an unexpected move, and he instructed the sound engineer to rearrange part of the song to enhance his solo. As he was completing his second take, Jackson entered the studio. Unsure of Jackson's reaction, Van Halen warned him in advance fearing he'd gone too far in altering the song's structure. But Jackson's response was enthusiastic. He turned to me after listening, Van Halen recalled, and went, wow, thank you so much for having the passion to not just come in and blaze a solo, but to actually care about the song and make it better. Although uncredited, Van Halen's electric solo on Beat It became instantly recognizable, helping the song soar to the top of the charts. Fans quickly identified his signature style, and Van Halen even joined Jackson on stage in 1984 to perform it live. Reflecting on their initial conversation, Jones humorously referenced the incident when paying tribute after Van Halen's death in 2020, joking about the difficulty of convincing the skeptical guitarist it was really him on the line. However, not everyone in the Van Halen camp was thrilled. Eddie's brother, drummer Alex Van Halen, expressed lingering frustration over Eddie's collaboration with Jackson. In a 2024 Rolling Stone interview, Alex remarked that the success of Thriller, bolstered by Beat It, kept Van Halen's own 1984 album from reaching the number one spot. Why would you lend your talents to Michael Jackson? He asked. The funny part was Ed fibbed his way out of it saying, oh, who knows that kid anyway? You made the mistake. Fess up. Despite the family tension, Eddie Van Halen's solo remains one of Pop's most celebrated, cementing his place in music history far beyond his work with Van Halen.